Hi and welcome to FiddlerMan.com. I'm going to go through the Violin 4 part for Violin Cabbage Down, the international YouTube project. Now, all you need to do is visit FiddlerMan.com and follow the homepage link to the group project. Download the part that's suitable to you, in this case Violin 4, and make sure you get that click track too, because without that click track, I won't be able to get all the parts together. Now, let's dive right into this piece. You can choose, for me it doesn't matter, whether you want to play open strings or a fourth finger. If you choose to play the open strings, just don't play the open strings heavier than the fingered strings. Actually release a little pressure. Now, we're going to choose right now. You can do what you want, but I'm going to recommend that you play at the upper half. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two downs and then you're back to the beginning again. So each section, four bar section, is repeated. Make sure you do that or you won't end at the same time as everybody else. I'll have a high, hard time putting it together without cutting your part. So the whole piece is 48 bars long. Now, next section, and by the way, here's the, uh, if you're using the fourth finger. In. Now the advantage of using the fourth finger is that you match the E better, but the D string is still an open string. Now I'm going to give the example, now I'm going to play with the open string mostly through the whole piece because you already know I told you you could use the fourth finger and if you're choosing the violin four part, unless you're playing all the parts, you might actually prefer to play an open string. So the next part, same notes almost, yeah, it is the same notes, all right, so we play twice, we play quarter notes, three, four. No problem. Next part is a little faster. You're going to be playing eighth notes. So we're going to do this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Two downs up. Now the reason we do the two downs is so that we'll be on a down bow for the repeat, the beginning of the section again. You could do this if you like. This is the last bar right here. It'll all fit together. I don't care which way you choose to play. If you choose to play the eighth notes the whole way through, that is fine with me. But the reason for doing this is to get us back on a down bow. You can also do this and then a new down bow. Now I'm choosing right now to show you how to play at the upper half. You can also do this if you like, but that's a little more difficult. Whatever. Let's go on to the next section. We have down, up, up, down. Now, if you're not able to play it fast enough, you're probably using too much bow. Shorten the bow, make sure you use flat hair to get more contact to the string for more vibrations. Now you can also choose, as we said, to play the fourth finger. So for speed, you know, just use less bow, shorter bows, and it'll do it for you. Now, fortunately, we're only playing up to 96, so it's not going to be a big problem for you. Next section, you're going to play eighth notes, straight eighth notes all the way through. Same notes again. Now when you start playing a little faster between two eighth notes, it might actually benefit you to play a fourth finger. So let's see, what do we have? Uh, so a thing to, to be keeping in mind is don't lift a finger too high because the, the fast, you know, the big movement will slow you down. So that's that part. Same thing at the end. That gets you to a down bow for the next section. Now, so the last part, short bows, uh, a little pressure at the upper half. New down bow, and here's with the open strings, same thing. Now what you might want to do is play a little closer to the frog.
and let the bow bounce. That's up to you. I don't mind either way. So that's the violin four part on Bilem Cabbage Down. I look forward to seeing your video. Thanks for visiting.